مرحبا كيف حالكم اليوم سندرس شيء جديد today we are going to learn something a new thing is the negation with verb how do you say I don't how do you say I did not and how do you say I will not I want uh, in Arabic uh, just like in, in English uh, we use these I don't I did not and I will not but uh, they are um, of course in Arabic not in English so uh, uh, the word for don't equal uh, la it's, and it's, it's the equivalent of uh, no like so uh, in English we say no I don't in Arabic we say no I know go because the word no uh, could be uh, no or uh, don't. So, uh, and this word, this word is la. And we are going uh, don't. Of course, we are negating in the present tense. Like I don't live in Denver, or I don't live in Colorado, or I don't uh, don't live in Cairo. It's um, I don't. And note that uh, don't uh, does not affect on your conjugation at all. Example. You are you need you need to put la in front of uh, the the verb, and you say ana la uh, atakalam atakalam uh, I don't speak Spanish. Ana la atakalam al Espania. So you see that. La, it's here. It just and la equal don't or do not, and also means la. So la does not affect on your uh, conjugation or affect your conjugation at all. It just put if you want to if you know how to say I live uh, in Chicago, you say ana askunu fi Chicago. I don't live in Chicago. You just say ana. La Escon fi Chicago. This is for the la. So the present tense conjugation or the negate in the present tense, this is your negation. Now I'm going to move to the future tense. The future tense, we uh, the equivalent is len. Len uh, is will not or won't. Len, this is in the present tense. And this is in the future tense. Anna len. And len, uh, len is the, the will not. Okay, len, okay, is will not. You see, you see in English, you say will not, will not. It's uh, just len. But, Len plus present tense. Len plus present tense. Because I have other students, uh, some sophma of my students, they are thinking in English when they when they they negate in the future, and they put um, uh, the, they conjugate the verb in the, the the future tense and they add len. No, it's just len plus present tense. I am saying and I'm repeating present tense. Example. Then it's this is will not and this is a future, future. Okay, so um, the, of course you are going to ask me how do we say I uh, I speak I say, or I I I study. Ana, uh, I study is ana adros, right? Uh, I am going to study or I will study. What you add, ana. Sa adros or sofa. Oh, Anna. Sa adros. Sa adros. Sa is a fit. But be careful when you when you negate. You don't need to conjugate the verb in the future tense. Keep it. Leave it in the present tense. Just like you are saying in English. I um, I uh, study. I will not study. So will not. 
it's a len. And you are not going to say, uh, I will not, I am going to study. No, in English we say, I will not study. Just like in, English, uh, in the present tense, you say, I study and I don't study. So you don't touch study. Uh, in the future sense, I'm going to say, I am going to study, which is Ana Saadros. But in the, in the future one, in negation, I am not, I don't need to conjugate the verb in the future. I just keep it in the past. So the negation in, in, the, uh, in the future, it's uh, len plus present tense. Okay? So you do negation, negation in the future, in the future, uh, in the future equals len plus present tense. Please do not conjugate the verb in the, um, uh, the future tense if you negate it. Okay, so len. So len has some transformation, like you say, um, it, uh, len uh, does affect on, slight effect on your, uh, your uh, conjugation at the end. The len, what does the len do? When, if you say, Anna, len adros, of course, uh, I am not a person that care most about the case ending. Um, because uh, as a native speaker of Arabic uh, and French uh, as well, uh, for Arabic, uh, nobody cares if you are, what's your case ending. And I mean by case ending, the, the ending, like ton, kita, bon, or kita, ben. I don't, nobody, nobody uses uh, these, uh, uh, these days, like uh, the, the case ending. So, just, uh, I drop the ending, and like I speak it, so why, why should I waste my student time and teach them the case ending? And, and the re reality, uh, there nobody is using that. If you listen to uh, the news in Arabic, nobody uh, is using uh, these uh, case ending. So I'm going to just ask you to do a len uh, plus present tense. And what does len do? Uh, there are some changes that len, like it affects my conjugation. For the, for the students who are, uh, they have to uh, respect the te their teacher, what they are saying, I'm going to tell them, Len, uh, Len changes uh, your Dhamma to Fatha. Okay, example. Len, Ana, Len, Adrusa. Adrusa. So, you are going to see it, okay? Ana len adrusa. So I have uh, ana adrusu, I study, uh, and I will not study ana len adrusa. For people who don't care about the ending, it's just ana len adrus. I, I even uh, drop the uh, the dhamma. Uh, for uh, it, uh, the len also affect on len, uh, uh, drops uh, the, the noon, the N, which is the noon for uh, you, singular female, uh, you dual, you, you dual, uh, and you a plural male. Okay, example, uh, NT, Len, Ted, Ru, C. NT, Len, I want to make sure that you are uh, seeing that. Uh, and to ma, uh, you and they also, they do. And to ma, len, tadrusa. So every time when you see the, the, the noon on your conjugation, drop it. Chop, like the, the len, it chops the, the, the noon. And entum, Len tedrusu. So, what does the the entum in the plural male? It changes the elif, uh, the noon to elif silent. Normally, we say entum tedrusun, 
but if you want to negate it in the future sense say antum len tadrusu you have an alif there but a silent one spoken okay so this is for the uh, negation in the future tense and remember i am not conjugating the verb in the future tense because the land say hey i am here and i am equal uh, equal um, to uh, will not okay so i'm going to go to the past tense past tense we have two ways to do it and uh, if you ask me which one i i uh, go it's uh, the second form we have two forms of negation both of them they are correct and um, uh, I'm going to tell you what the form one but so negation in the past tense negation in the past tense okay we have we have the first form first form uh, did not did not did I'm going to say did not equals Lem. Lem. Did not is lem. Add lem plus to the present tense to negate in the uh, in the in the past. I know it sounds crazy or just wrong. Why you use lem and the pa present tense? I'm gonna say it's the same thing. You put didn't and you say steady. You don't say in English or we don't say in English. I didn't studied. Did, did I change study? So that's one of the main questions uh, when uh, my students say, why? Why you are you using the present tense to negate the past? And I tell them, okay, um, I learn English and uh, I'm also a student, college student. So um, sometimes uh, things, they don't make sense to me, but I, when I think, and it's, I told my student, okay, if you are asking me, I did not study, why you guys, you don't say, I did not study You see, I don't, I don't, uh, I did not study. It is lem plus past tense. And uh, it affects the same way that the len does. The same thing, okay? Uh, so lem plus present tense, ana lem adros means I did not study. And lem adros means I did not study. The second form is the second form is use did not also uh, equals ma, but add 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 ma plus past. In this case, okay, uh, add ma plus past tense. We have two ways. We can say lem plus present tense to negate in the past or ma plus past tense. Put ma and ma does not affect my conjugation in the past tense. And please uh, refer to my video on the past tense conjugation and you see how we conjugate in the past and you can uh, do the, the, the negation. Like uh, I want you to be able to say I don't eat, uh, I eat, I don't eat, I did not eat, I will not eat. And when you do, I did not eat, use the both form. I like the, the second form because it's just past. I put ma plus past tense. Like Anna, example, Anna ma daras tu. Anna ma daras tu. Uh, I want to keep uh, this video um, kind of uh, short uh, because I need to give you the practice for the conjugation in the pa um, the negation okay so my practice i don't know if you can see it okay do you see it let me um i'm i'm not that professional but you know i hope i am kind of helping mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so. Okay. I don't 
don't think you can see all of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, I'm going to read. If you don't see it, uh, at least you can. Uh, uh, so the first one is, I don't speak English. I did not eat breakfast. I will not work tomorrow. Last week, I was very tired. I did not work. I did not go to school. Next month, I will not work. I was not home yesterday. Why didn't you go to school? So, so this is going to be your practice for negation. Apply the rules and uh, that's it. Uh, I would like to say thank you uh, for your comment. Uh, and uh, it's uh, time consuming for me to just uh, post uh, because I ha I'm also a student. I go to school and I am trying my best. And I hope that uh, you guys uh, uh, appreciate my work and uh, uh, I greatly appreciate your feedback and uh, see you in the next uh, next time ma salama